Fun. That makes sense. Well... Those of you from the stream, what was it? Was it more than one game runs of any particular kind? Master System Ninja Gaiden. I want to play that game, actually. There's not very many Master System games I want to try. Because I don't know... There's only one Master System game I know that is really good, and that's Wonder Boy 3 The Dragon's Trap. I like that game a lot. Um, beyond that, I literally don't know what else is worth playing on that system. <laughs> Just a stream of him getting food. That would be funny. Bio Miracle, Bokute Upa. I like that game a lot. It's really good. It's really hard. It's way harder for a game about being a baby than you think it would be. You're like, what the fuck? Why is this baby game? Like, literally, like, why is it difficult? Uh, yeah, that's a really cool game. I might try to run it sometime. Because beyond Kirby, I just like a lot of NES games. I like finding more obscure ones, and that one's definitely good. But the only thing that disappoints me is that the game is ran on the cartridge version. Which, I mean, it makes sense to run it on the cart, because the cart doesn't have load times, but the cartridge version doesn't have the same sounds as the, uh, the cassette disc or floppy disc version, you know, for the FDS. And, uh, I really like the music on the original release of it, but yeah, it has load times, so that sucks. The, uh, the music that they replace it with isn't that bad, but, you know, it just doesn't hit the same. I really like the theme in that game. It sounds so good. So, so good. It's like, literally the only theme on half the levels, but despite that, I still love it. Finding lots of uh, obscure games, though, like that one. And I found a lot of them through speedrunning and just watching others. That's one of my favorite things about speedrunning is seeing all the different people around the world who are into it. Because you, you can meet so many people who, like, you know, share the same interests and in going fast in games. And then also just finding like whatever games exist for a system that you never like thought like, existed at all, and it's like, wow, okay, this is a thing, and also the run for it is really cool. Now, Kirby's Adventure here is not very obscure, but it's also not a very, uh, commonly ran game. Like, it has runners for it, for sure, but most people don't prefer this game, is all I'm getting at, and I do. I like it a lot. This is a really good game. Uh, a lot of people don't like it, though, because it's very laggy at times, and it eats your inputs under other circumstances besides lag, so... Not so desirable. It's also a pretty long run. Not a lot of people who want to run NES games want to do runs that are, like, over 30 minutes, typically. Um, so yeah. This game does have an any percent category where it's under a minute, but that's actually a trick because that category is not fun, if you ask me, because it, it, it's very complicated. It's not a very easy credits warp to get into doing at all. So I don't I don't personally recommend it. Most people who just want to try the game out, go for it. 
and then they try it for a few days, and then they say, you know what, never mind. But, um, that said, aside from any percent itself, which I don't have a time in at all, I have a top three time in, like, every other category in this game. Which was one of my goals originally. It was one of my goals originally, except for any percent. For any percent, my goal was to just finish any run, like, under a minute. That would be really cool. If I ever do it again. I, I cannot do that category, though. Like, I'll try it for, like, 30 minutes and then say, this is frustrating, I'm not doing this again. <laughs> This is a very fun game. Nice quip. I almost fell, like, between the borders of the boundary there. Kazan, thank you for the good one. Ah, dang it, I missed my A press. I got it, game, you don't gotta tell me. Also, Evil Elf got you into it, or Evil Elfo. I, I, I know that he changed his name very slightly. Uh, reading back on what Fairly Simple wrote. Oh my gosh, what am I doing? What am I doing? That doesn't usually happen. But sometimes that happens. Every time I tornado everywhere, I'm doing it like exactly the same as I possibly can every time. So my my route through the levels is like literally always memorized and identical. And anytime I mess that up and it like goes differently, sometimes it's tricky to decide what the best way to recover it is. And yeah, that quip. Uh, that clip. My mind is blinking. This th this game goes by so fast. It's really hard for me to like think. <laughs> I mean, I can autopilot some of sometimes, but it's not always advised. So like, I don't know. <laughs> you just go through it so quickly. So many levels. There's like 39 levels in this game, or whatever. And I'm trying to like, do them all under 50 minutes, you know. Very effectively, too, if I can. But yeah, okay, that clip. I was gonna say, the way that works is uh, kind of interesting. Because uh, th there was a one-tile gap. Because there's like three types of clips in this game, and that one's like... the most consistent one, I'd say, maybe? As aside from a clip later on, if I get that far. Um... So, whenever there is a one-tile gap and Kirby has a power that doesn't give them a weapon to hold, nor changes their body, like UFO, then, uh, if they dash and then crouch before reaching the other side of the gap, they'll, like, fall through the floor. So, with that known, it is, uh, typically easy to do, I'd say, except it does take practicing. But there's a lot of those in the run. Okay, good, I didn't mess it up. That feels really good. I do that boss fight in the most stupid way imaginable, and it only saves me two seconds, but I'm like, yes, I will do it, because I know how to do it. Sometimes I just do really unnecessary things, but it's like, when it goes well, I mean, it does save me time, but uh, I could probably tone it down, but I, I don't like toning it down. Honestly, I like doing what I like to do. I like doing that, actually. I have not done it that way, I don't think. I think that's a very smart way to do it. Anyway, um, yeah, Kirby's Adventure. Gosh, there's so many things I could say about this game, and I've been talking about it a lot the past few, like, sessions of streaming it. One of my favorite things about this game, with how long it is, and how many people run it at different levels, is that, uh, 
you know, unlike a Mario game where it gets like super optimized and like you could look at uh, the top 10, 20, 50 top times on the board for it and see that everybody more or less does the same strats. Uh, for Kirby's Adventure, like even all of the top runners do like really different things from each other. I do not like that I inhaled that enemy, but it didn't matter. But yeah, even for everybody who's running the game at a similar level, uh, a lot of people take their strats differently, and whatever is comfortable for them, and I, I like that a lot, because uh, sometimes that's not too common to see in many other speed games, but I, I like it a lot, because it, to me it shows a lot of personality in how the people play. Like, I could, I could watch a lot of fast runs for this game, and probably tell who's playing based on their movement and what they decide to do and all that. And I like that. It's, it's just cool to me. I'm going to get this. I'm going to not mess this up. This did not trip me up. Okay, good. That is not tricky, but I keep approaching that in like really dumb ways, and I keep messing it up. But I, I haven't messed it up in a few runs, so that's good. Alright, good. I don't think I talked about the whole push A thing, which is really funny. Because you can push B or A. And my goal is to press it on, like, the first immediate frame I can possibly press it when hitting that thing. So I get the lowest possible launch. And it's just funny that, you know, it always tells you to push A, but, you know, I, I, I basically did. It seems like, despite all the trouble I've had so far this session with attempts, uh, things are finally calming down and falling into place. I, I don't want to jinx it or anything, though. Not that I really believe in that kind of thing, but uh, we'll see. Oh my gosh. Nice, I love doing that. <laughs> I love doing that, but it's so scary, because if I don't enter the door right away, I'm going to hit the Gordo. <laughs> and I did that, like, for the first time the other day. Nice, and it golded. But yeah, I, I do a lot of ridiculous things sometimes like that. Thank you for blowing up the other bomb. I got bad luck there. Bad luck plus lag. I fail to launch myself, it's way better to just not do anything because pressing anything else would just launch me way too high. Are you kidding me? I messed that up. Please. I cannot deal with this boss appropriately. <laughs> I'm just gonna go back to standing inside of his hitbox, because I don't really think I care. <laughs> like, I shouldn't have to do that, but that's what I chose to do for the longest, and it worked out for me the majority of the time. But, okay. 
Okay, that's a decent world three. Okay, I'm glad I caught that UFO. Actually tied my gold. Nice. All right, four two should be fine. Nothing too troublesome with this level. Sometimes it goes poorly, but ideally not. My swimming. I messed up. Alright, that's cool. That's cool, whatever, I guess. That's a... Uh... Alright, oh, and provision. I missed my jump, so I just fell into the lower level, and I, at that point I wasn't about to go back up to the top anyway. Oh my goodness, please. Missing all the A's in the B's. The sounds in this game are very chill and fun to listen to. I'm glad. Yeah, I don't think... I mean, okay, there's some games that I've ran where, like... I'm not saying the music was horrible, but I've definitely gotten sick of, like, hearing it from running it. And then I've also, like, kind of hated some of the sound effects in different games I ran. Uh, I'll definitely agree, this is not one of those games. A lot of people are like, you know, Kirby's chill to listen to, and then other times people tell me my voice is apparently chill to listen to. Sometimes people even fall asleep watching me, which I don't... I mean, that's not necessarily a negative thing. That's just that's just one of my favorite, like, compliments I get. <laughs> like, oh, Tracy, you know, I like to sleep to your stream, and I'm like, oh, like, I don't know how you do that, actually, because I thought I just whined about the game the entire time I played it, but, you know, if it works for you, then sure. If, if I am your sleep age, I guess. I don't know how it happens, but it happens, apparently. Awesome! Yeah, apparently I do ASMR. Oh, I actually stopped wheel, too. Cool. So, uh... Something that I did there, I, I reset the game before I entered the level, and that was simply to let go of Tornado, which I know sounds ridiculous. Like, why would you reset the let go of Tornado? And that's because letting go of my star and the only two rooms, or only one of the only three rooms I could have done it in, they, they all would have wagged if I did so. Awesome! I'm doing it well. Oh my gosh, fire. That mix is difficult to set up, but not very difficult to get the uh, power I need, generally. Easy listening. Is that true? Really now? I'm not going to mix for a tornado. I don't really feel like it. I'll take my time loss. I'll take my free time loss and just go, because I'm gonna lose time to not getting it. But I would, I would waste more time if I missed this. So whatever. I don't need it. Oh my god! I spit way too early. If I whine too much, it becomes 90s rock. Yo, can we get some grunge going on in here? 
I've been listening to a lot of, like, 90s music and other old stuff lately. I, I really like that, uh... Personally, I really like the, uh... The kind of music that's just all, like, angsty. <laughs> the kind of stuff you'd probably prefer listening to if you were a teenager, but I'm just like, no, I kinda... I kinda need that mood. It's kind of the vibe sometimes. I would like to clip. I would like to clip. Thank you. That clip's hard to do because there's, like, no room to run. Like, I, I'm just working off of almost nothing. Like, come on. So I'm losing... I don't know, like, 10 seconds or something. Probably. Especially because I missed the clip. I think that having Tornado saves you about 8 seconds, but it was estimated around 10, but I don't know. I've had some really good goals, both with and without it. Or, I don't know, basically... Ah, you get what I mean. I don't think I'm very good to listen to, personally. It's because I always get, like, stuck on my words, like, a lot. Speaking is really difficult. If that somehow is still relaxing to most people, then cool. Go. <laughs> that was not me. Landing. All right, cool. Good, good, good. I'm not even done with the level yet, but I'm gonna say that this 5-1 has been successful based on everything that's already happened. Because <laughs> I, I could have made a lot of mistakes already that would have ruined a lot of stuff. Because I, uh, I died in this level, or, yeah, I did die. I was like, what, what did I do wrong in my BB? I, I died in this level, so that's good to not die. Um, and then the next level, I wasted time. I'm gonna try to not do that. So glad I didn't bounce off the wall. I like this song in Kirby Superstar. I like it here too, but like, it took me a while for some reason to realize- Oh shit, are you kidding me? No, that's so annoying. <laughs> it took me a while to realize though that it wasn't Superstar. Because it's like, it sounds like super orchestrated. 16-bit, but like orchestrated. I don't even know how to describe it. But you probably get what I mean. Also nice, aside from the little mistake with the, uh, the mini-boss, but that's no big deal. Oh my gosh, that was like the most perfect I've stopped that. I, I've never had Kirby just go from floating to just walking. 
usually there's a bit of falling and landing, but <laughs> that was just exactly bubble. That was so awkward. Like, it's, it's not necessary to do that. That close. Also nice, I missed my jump. It's really fun when you miss your jump. I like to inhale the star there and take a lot of hits so that way I don't like drop the star because your star hitting spikes means it goes away, which is very bad. Including spikes like these that I do not aim to hit. If I hit them, that would be very sad. I almost hit those. If I hit any spikes, it's usually the ones I just barely got past, which is like... <laughs> would have been so funny to speak about it and then just do it. <laughs> like, whoops. Exactly like that. That's what I didn't want to do. But, uh, all, all's fine. Well, that was interesting. I haven't messed up my movement there like that ever. I'll try to not do that again, I guess. I know exactly what I did wrong, I just didn't think I was going to do that. <laughs> I guess now I know. Do not go very high there, that is not a good idea. Jump. Is this gonna get me up there? Yes it is, good. Another little bit of time lost, but it's all fine. What really matters though is this level, whatever happens here, whatever happens here shall happen. What's happening? Please attack me, attack me. Fuck. Well, you know what? You can't all be winners every single time. Is this even gonna get me in there now? <laughs> yeah, okay. Well, I took a risk. I was almost accurate, but whatever. The last one I did it right, I got, uh... I got UFO, which was really good, because uh, it was fast, and now I don't have UFO, which is lame, because I'm slow. At least I didn't mess that up, because I don't practice it a whole lot. So I'm losing... time. But that's okay, because I'm still also ahead. In fact, I saved time off PB, but... Oh, I'm actually surprised I didn't mess that up. <laughs> I felt like I was falling and doing the hammers too slowly to the point that I would have landed. Yo, Aston, thank you for the good luck. Hope you're doing good this morning. Uh, 
hope everybody here is honestly doing all right, regardless of the time zone, you know, whatever point in the day. That's what I feared last time, and was not an issue last time, uh, because I did something else instead. <laughs> so, oh well, that was my fault. I lost more time to getting hurt, though, than to what I did before, but it's okay. It's not over. I hate that frog. The frog lived, and the frog wags. Too high again! Oh my gosh. I think being high is better than being too low, but like, mm, it's still annoying to not be accurate. Speaking of accurate, that is fun to do, right? Sometimes it just feels like Kirby sticks when you want to do something really quick. Okay, I'm, I'm surprised that hit it. That was like probably the very edge of the hitbox on the puff, because I was like trying to make sure I fell onto the platform afterwards. Love doing that. I used to hate doing that strat, but now it's not that bad. Oh, fuck. Whatever. I golded. Alright, I would believe it. Honestly, if I golded, it's probably because of the fact that I did that strap where I, uh, fell onto the two enemies, leaving the one room. Because I don't think I had that in whatever run that I had my last gold in. What the fuck? Alright. I, I've seen that happen before, that's just not very common. The the uh, the one enemy was just not spawned, like, at all. Which is, uh, kinda cool, I guess. Just not gonna be there. When, when we need the enemy most, the, the Poppy Bro Jr. just will not be there. Finish this room cleanly. No. I cannot. It's too hard. Way too hard. Resetting again. Like, 
not do the dumb thing in this level? Fuck. Awesome. I'm so good at the game, holy shit, how do I need to do that? <laughs> I'm just kidding. Now, before, though, I went way too low in the last run and ended up falling back in bounds, which wasted me, like, 15 seconds. And was, like, the one major thing that costed me, uh, the run. I need to take this lead I have and keep it. Keep it for the rest of the run. Please. Please, I can do that, right? I know how to play Kirby's Adventure. Stop sparking. However, I have a disclaimer. Just because I know how to play it doesn't mean I can actually do it. Unfortunately, it's not as easy as that. Is this gonna gold? No? Okay. I swear, I, I had an attempt at that level where I almost did everything exactly like that. What's up, Maria? Jump. Thank you. Oh. That was a little awkward, but it worked. And yeah, that's a little annoying. Uh, when you have to take... Oh, nice gold. When you have to take, like, sudden responsibility for something else you weren't, like, you know, looking forward to in the moment. But I guess that's how it goes sometimes. <laughs> that was a really weird Meta Knight. He, like, did three jumping attacks in a row. Alright, I can totally hold this lead for the entirety of this world, right? Nothing could ever go wrong in World 7. It's impossible. Right? <laughs> Okay, so when I when I do that clip right there, if I fall for too long, Kirby will start to go into the face planting animation. And if I face plant while falling through here, 
um, I break the blocks below me and fall back in bounds. And sometimes I get really afraid that I'm not going to uh, inhale in time to do that. But I haven't ever had that issue in a while, like in a long while. But like every time I do it though, I get really anxious like shit, I'm not gonna float appropriately. And like obviously you would think, well you can just float sooner. And I could, but I don't know. It's better to not float as soon as possible, because if you do, then you have to, like, descend even slower. You know what I mean? So it's like, I don't know. Either way, it wasn't an issue, so I'm not gonna worry. Alright, I'm, I'm not about to get my ass kicked by these bosses, I swear. We'll see. Let's find out. Row at me. Slow roll, but it worked. Alright, I need this- I need Bugsy to be good. Bugsy, like, attack me. Roll. Or not roll, but fuck. Okay, I- I missed the first hit, but I didn't mess it up beyond that. Alright, you. Cooperate. That was so fucking risky, but you know what? I- I live riskily, so... I went for it. <laughs> Is this gonna gold? I hope it does, because that would be good, because I deleted my old gold here. It is outdated. Please update that shit. Thank you. I'll take that. All right, I'm 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 in it, you know. We we are going places. This run could be spicy if I hold my lead. Come on. Bruh, I fucked up my movement. Are you kidding me? Alright, I'm so glad that enemy that was chasing me said I'm gonna just leave you alone. Wow, I like gave myself a big scare. I messed up my movements so awkwardly there. I held B for way too long. And adjusting your movement on slopes is not an easy thing to do, like, whatsoever. But yeah, b before I did that, this was looking really spicy. Um, it could still be a really good uh, PB though, obviously. If the rest goes well. Don't be an idiot. I'm so glad I came up with that setup. That makes it a lot less stressful, and it's still way faster than what I used to do in that room. That fucking sucks. Don't fall on me! I'm so scared. This room did not go the way I planned to start it out. And, uh... Yeah, when this room doesn't start out the way I planned to, I just fucking panic. Because, uh... It's laggy as shit and there's enemies everywhere. But you know what? That's fine. I'm still, like, 30 seconds ahead. And I'm, like, in the last two levels. There's, like, only the very slight chance something catastrophic just happens and wastes my time. So, uh, ideally not. Ideally not. Fuck. That's annoying. So, within the last three levels, I've made a few mistakes. Before that, if I played as good as I possibly could have, I probably would have been on pace for at least second place. But now I might be on pace to keep third, but get really close because second is a uh, second place is 4805, which is really good, and first is like 4749 or whatever. So I, I definitely wouldn't have been on pace for that, but still, I, I've been playing very good 
for the most part, up until a few things got rocky here. But, you know, nerves happen. It's it's hard for me to obviously play exactly well every single time, but I'm feeling good about how I've mostly played for the most part. Nothing major has happened. Quit. Thank you. I love doing that clip. Alright, literally, what could go wrong? I am not asking the game to show me what could go wrong, though. Please do not. Alright, we're getting the last switch. And we're gonna get the DDD minute. All right, tell me I did not mess up this manipulation, please. Where's the star shooting at? All right, I didn't fuck it up. All right, cool. I didn't mess up my run. The only, the, the literal last possible thing that could have messed up my run is this, actually. Oh my fucking lord, dude. I fucked my run. Thank you. All right, whatever. It's still gonna be good. The last possible thing besides that was, uh, you know, not misspacing anything on DDD, but that was cool. Obviously, I gotta save all my time loss for the final bosses. It's essential. Alright, this nightmare orb is not as clean as the last one, but it doesn't matter. Die, motherfucker. Okay, cool. I'll PB, alright. There's no way I actually choke on Nightmare Wizard. Please. Not like this. I'm gonna try to be quiet and focus. Okay, I thought I missed that hit. I literally thought I missed it. Like, that was not gonna be a good start. Alright, fuck him up. Holy shit, I actually thought I missed that last hit. I That surprised me. I split a little late because I didn't think I hit him. So that was probably a 48-13. <laughs> Alright, that was uh, goofy. I literally almost threw everything to DDD. That would have been so cool. But uh, I didn't, so that's great. That's going to be time save next run, I guess. Like, well, I only wasted like 10, less than 10 seconds on DDD. But still, I, that was still not very cool. But, uh... All right, well, I feel satisfied. I feel really satisfied. That was really, really good. So I did not respond to your previous comment, Maria. You, you're making your uh, relatives watch a task run. Oh, what run? I'm curious. Also, thanks for the good vibrations, Growl Wolf. If I'm reading your name right, I saw that, but didn't respond. 
Thanks for the GG, SK, and Cheapy, and Krazar. And thank you for the congrats, game -ace. I talked my way through the whole run somehow, and it worked out just fine. I wasn't sure I was going to get a good run uh, this session, which, I mean, it, it's not always the goal to have a good run every single session, but, you know, just to give it a shot. Thank you for the GG's, Aerogen, Aero, and Maria. And yeah, a stretch would be good. Um, I'm going to get up and do that. I'm gonna do it after the uh, credits finish, just because I'm doing a recording. Although, I mean, I, I could just do it now, because the credits last a little bit. But uh, I, I like to uh, include the credits and the uh, uh, file at the end, just so you know I did it all. Even though it's it's really easy if somebody just watches through the run and sees I hit every switch, but, you know, sometimes it's just nice to look at the end to confirm it. This makes it a little, a little easier. Yeah, I might get second place soon. I could have the uh, the second 47, maybe. Also, that Krakow fight right there, I wanna I wanna actually shut that off because that would be really funny. Because uh, I, I love that the credits show you different powers on the uh, different bosses, you know? Because they're like, oh, look at all the things Kirby. You, you could have done with Kirby, but um. It's hilarious because Tornado on Krakow is the worst idea in existence, and I don't know who decided to put that in the credits, but they were such a jokester, I swear. Also, high jump on DDD is not the worst idea, but it is not something I'd recommend either. So, Alright. Oshimai, the end. Bye bye. Extra game, Omerita. Congratulations, you unlocked extra game. My file has 100%. There we go. I did it.